Hello. We are live in Solana Beach, California at Debbie's Design Diary, the DIY headquarters, and we are playing. We're doing some stamping and some painting. So the way Debbie's store is set up, it's really cool. It's there's items that you can buy, like fun little like boutique type mermaid yeah, I'll stuff. Give them a pan of the room. But Zeb's gonna give you a pan of the entire room because she has her whole setup shop set up for creating and making and taking there's craft supplies galore so people can come into the shop they can pick a project and create it all in one day the project's going to range in this room anywhere from 25 to 35 dollars but it doesn't have to be like a organized setup thing they can just come in and create and pay for what they use so that's what this whole room is here is just stuff you can put together and make cool things and Debbie kind of gave us carte blanche to create what we wanted. So we are so excited. We are also excited because it's nice and warm and beautiful here. I am going to make a clock. So Debbie has these in her shop. You could also make a sign out of them, but I'm going to be making a clock. I'm using the IOD Indie Folk Stamps. And Zeb is going to be doing a intuitive art piece, as Kelly Weiler from Girl Up Cycle would say. Intuitive art is just whatever you feel like painting. Ooh. <laughs> and wow. of course, we have the first in, first out bottles, all DIY paint products we're using because this is the DIY paint headquarters. So this is definitely a fun place. And before we get started, I wanted to tell you guys, if you are local anywhere to Solana Beach, San Diego area, um, November 17th from 11 to 4, Debbie is having a holiday open house here in Solana Beach at her store on Cedros Avenue. And she's going to have three new holiday make and take some ornaments. There's going to be food and fun, and it's going to be a really great event. So you definitely want to check it out. If you can't make it for that event and you're in this area, definitely stop by Debbie's shop, especially if you love creating. I'm going to move the camera down just a little bit so they can see what we're doing. All right, doing. I'll let you know when my head, the top of my head's no longer visible. <laughs> Hold on, let's go. see. No. Do I just, I don't know how to use this. We're, yeah, oh, just there. like that, but... Now, there, no, now we're well, all crazy. What'd you do? What did I do? I don't know what I did. I'm right here. Oh. There we go. We're going to actually be doing this, then we're going to hit the beach, and then tonight we've got our class at Vintage Retail Therapy in Fallbrook, California. Oh, what's the date again? November 17th from 11 to 4 at the Holiday Open House at the DIY Paint Headquarters, Solana Beach, California. And it's on Cedros Avenue. I don't know the exact address, but you'll definitely recognize Debbie's house because it's like brightly colored. And if you look it up on Facebook, kind. her address is right there on it. Absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm using vintage linen. I don't, you're going to have to hold things okay. up. They still can't see. I'm going to paint this clock here. Vintage linen. Vintage linen. Debbie's paint brushes are, they've been well this is This is not the paint pixie brush. Just disclaimer. Disclaimer. It's not the paint pixie brush. She has it? some here, I believe. We didn't want to unwrap hers. I got some in, I actually have some in my bag. So I actually forgot all of my makeup and all of my makeup brushes. So we had to stop by the Mac counter in the airport so that way y'all could see my face done up because it was a little scary. I was traveling Well, we were makeup. getting ready to find somewhere and then we passed the Mac counter in the airport and she's like, that's good, that'll work, let's do that. And Zeb's such a good husband, he just, I, so also I, I lost my debit card last night. Um, I gave it to my son to go buy chicken feed and he misplaced it, so I have no debit card. So Zeb just handed me his card and let me buy what I wanted. Sure, that's how that works. And now you guys get to see my face and it's not scary. It's never scary. It's never. You're so good to me. I actually really like the MAC makeup, so it might be a, good, a blessing in disguise because Zeb said he likes it because it looks less clumpy than what I normally wear. Anyway, so I'm just painting this with DIY paint and vintage linen. People ask me all the time the differences between the whites. Vintage linen is a white that pulls a little bit gray. So I like it. If I want a little bit of richness in my projects. Do I have, Zeb's pulling up questions. I'm pulling up comments right now so I can see what I'm you guys are I'm going to be making saying. a clock in case you're just tuning in. It's one of the many projects here at Debbie's shop that you can make and take. Ooh. Oh, we're a little later in the after, or in the day. So, because Jamie had the times mixed up, the, the time difference between California and Utah, she went the other way with the time. So she was thinking we would be an hour ahead. And we're an hour behind. So. 
So yeah, so we missed the 10.30 Utah time, but we're here at 12.30 Utah time. But a lot of people are getting to uh, see now. A lot of people are like, hey, oh, I finally good. got a live, so. Well, we're glad that we could change the time. Our Wednesday lives are normally at 10.30 Utah time, and today we're 12.30. All right, so I've got one coat on here. The nice thing about this paint is that we're gonna get single coat coverage. This is raw wood. If it had a bit of a sheen, it might take two coats, but because it's raw, one coat and done. So we're gonna let that dry. And Zeb's gonna have to drill a hole. Oh, that's upside down. So this is kind of cool because I think she probably picked up this piece at a craft store. So if you're not close to a place like Debbie's Design Diary where you can find these, you can go to craft stores and you can pick up pre-made things. If we were at home, Zeb would probably just cut this out for me. Let's be honest. Yeah. But not everybody has a Zeb or the tools. So don't feel like you can't craft just because you don't have the tools or you're not sure where to get this. But anyway, so this is painted. We're gonna let that dry. What are you gonna paint on your piece? So I I have not decided yet, but I did select the weapon. This oh. this brush, check this brush out. I'm gonna I'm gonna do an intuitive painting too because that's, I gotta have something to do with my hands. Oh, we're over here. Look at this. This is brush is gonna make some amazing art right now. So, and I think these bristles are like nylon, like a nylon rope. So we'll see how well I do with this, and if it turns out great, proof that anyone can paint with anything. But hoping. All right, you want to poke <laughs> that camera down so they can see what we're doing? Yeah. I'm going to poke you guys down at the ground just a little bit. All right. So I am going to start with a background of apothecary. And Debbie, if you watch this later, I was making fun of your brushes. Yeah, it's okay. And guess what? If you come here, we're going to leave all of our projects here in the shop so you can buy Jamie and Zeb originals. Or just come get them because they might not be great. <laughs> Yeah, or they could be free. I don't know. Whatever Debbie says, it's her shop and it's her stuff. All right, hand me, hand me, I can get it. What do you need? This. All right, so I'm going to be using this paintbrush. I've got apothecary on here. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to get started. All right. Wise keeper of all the colors. What? That's Oh, this is Carnival Red. Red. That's what I was looking for. I couldn't remember the name of it. Yeah, I think I pay more attention to the colors and the names. Yeah, red, blue, black. Okay, so that's, that's how I do my colors. Got apothecary. You know what I'm thinking? I might do because we're in Solana Beach, so maybe we'll do. I'll do an ocean scene. So I'm going super red. I'm just gonna paint my whole canvas here. We'll see what we come up Mermaid with. Mermaid tails next. Ugh, it won't come off. It's got a booger. Oh, the outside dried. <laughs> okay. You got some now. The booger came out of the first in first out bottle. I'm gonna add some of that to here. So if you're just tuning in, we're at. The DIY paint headquarters in Solana Beach. Yeah, we're in Solana, Solana Beach. Solana Beach. If we I'm just, just go over the highway, the ocean's right there. I'm just the gonna road. take my brush now that I got paint on here, and I'm just gonna do little swirls because then it'll look like the ocean, right? If I do swirls, yeah, like that. We'll say that. You know what? It's gonna be abstract at the least when we're all done. It'll here. be abstract at the most because let's be honest, all of my stuff is abstract. I'm an abstract artist. Okay, the next one I'm putting on here is sea glass. I'm gonna add some of that on here. Okay, somebody said something, remind me what? I don't know. Hang on, I gotta get back to comments. One big craft, Paula Jackson says, one big craft room. I would be in heaven, so much fun. You yeah, should be in Oceanside, yeah. That's close. Every time I come here, I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to get like a craft space. I actually did buy an easel, so that way I could do um, some artwork this winter. Okay, so I'm gonna put some white on here. I guess I could use this. I need to get some foam, because there's always foam on the ocean. There's a small fan over here. I'm there's going to utilize fan. it. Oh, can you fan this? Yeah, I can. So I can get to stampin'. All right, so I'm gonna be running fans. You're gonna be running fans. All right, so next I'm going to take, so I've got, can you guys see that? I've got my water on there and I just gave it some movement. I'm going to come and add some foam. Hold on. I'm going to do it this way, but then I'll show you in a second because I don't know what I'm doing yet, so i got to practice. So Mary asks, the projects you're doing, are they available to do at Debbie's shop daily? Yes. Yeah. You can just come on in and start crafting anytime they're open. All right, so this is what I'm doing. I'm taking this big brush here that I used to paint that with, and I've got the vintage linen, and I'm just coming through. And I'm adding foam into the waves, you know, adding some white space. You show them, they can't see that oh, good on sorry. camera. Can you guys see the foam that I'm adding? I'm gonna add some more and then I'll show you. 
It's kind of hard to paint when you're not looking at the piece. <laughs> I mean, oops. Last time we came here, we got so much garbage about how the boys got paint all over Debbie's pretty table. There is more paint here now than when we were here. Oh, and Debbie loved it. She was uh, she was having so much fun watching those boys paint in here, just going crazy. Redrick gets a little excited when he's on camera, so he's not his normal self. And Jack is just used to being on camera, so he was just doing his thing. Well, and now every time Jack sees at my shop, I have a picture of like Debbie's colors on the wall, and every time he sees it, he sees Debbie's picture, and he goes, "Mom, there's your friend Debbie. She's my favorite." <laughs> We went out to dinner with her. The kids had a good time. All right. Oh, this is crinoline. I'm going to go grab Sandy Blonde to do some sand. I'll you need right some back. Sandy Blonde for the sand? sand. All right. This is almost dry. I think you'll be able to stamp this here really quickly. Okay. Shouldn't be too long. Guys, I painted this red, and now I'm, I'm kind of regretting it. I'm like, what am I going to paint on there? I need to paint the edges, too, so that if I frame it or there? whatever. No, I think I'm good with the colors out here, okay. but I'm just brainstorming what I can do with this bright red backdrop. I've got a, I got a kind of an idea, but I don't know. All right, we'll see so how it goes. Next color I'm bringing in a sandy blonde. This sandy blonde is really special because Debbie named after her mom. So I always think about Debbie's mom every time I use sandy blonde. Okay, let, I'm gonna put it on here and I'm gonna show you guys, but I, because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Just bringing some sand in. <laughs> Ooh, desert sunset. I like that, Paula. That's a good idea. All right, so I gotta come bring the water. Go Christmassy. Oh. All right, so the I came in. The front of a barn. I came in with some sand here. Do you guys see how I did that? I just pounced it in. That's mostly what I'm doing with my artwork because I'm not an exact artist. So I've got my sand. I've got my ocean. The rolling waves. It's a rough day on the ocean. I mean, that's yeah, a rough those day. waves are coming in strong. <laughs> so now I need to do like a sun. I don't know. What do we do on the top? You want to go with a light, light blue up on the top and like fade it in. And the higher you go, the lighter it gets. Okay. So I want to do it the lighter the blue gets. Okay. Depends so. on the time of day, but yeah. Well, we'll lighten that up with vintage linen. I'm just going to take the color I already have. Okay. Light blue. This okay. is my job today, drying the paint quickly. I'm making a light blue, guys. I'm just mixing all the, all I'm doing here is mixing together the blues and the whites I have to make a lighter blue. I need more white. Okay, so this is, I'll, we'll give this like another two, three minutes. We're gonna do some stamping on this. So if you're watching, hang tight, we'll get some stamps going We're on. We're gonna this. be using the IOD in bulk stamp. We haven't used them before and I thought that would be fun to use something we haven't done. We're gonna be taking two days of IOD training after our class tonight. So hopefully after that, I'm not just winging it and we'll be pros at stamping. So or at least Jamie will be. I, I did this. Do you see how I did the waves when I was like pouncing it down? The sky, instead of pouncing, I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going back and forth, just creating a loose look. That way, even though the colors are similar, you get a different look between the sky and the waves. That's kind of a fun trick. And I'm in no way an amazing artist. I'm just coming up with this on the fly. And that's the fun thing about intuitive artwork. You just kind of do what... What works for you. All right, so let me finish that. You show them what you're doing. My next weapon of choice. I just got a spatula with so much crusty paint on it, but it's gonna work. I'm gonna go with some black <laughs> and so see if we can get some barn door action going here. Some barn door, is that what you're doing? Yep. We're gonna go with a red barn door and maybe like a green Christmas tree in the corner. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that far yet. All right, I feel like I need way more vintage linen on this. So we're gonna... I'll show you guys really quick here what I'm doing. That's the fun thing about coming to a creative space like this. You really can just play around until you get a look that you love. All right, I need to create some poofy clouds, so I'm gonna get a new clean brush. I think I'm gonna use every brush Debbie has. Every, every brush over there? Yeah, so this is a round, kind of like a stencil brush. In fact, we just got the new stencil brushes from paint pixie and we have the new wax buffers up on the website so if you haven't been to jamie ray vintage check it out because we have all paint pixie in stock including all the new ones on it so, so someone said so i'm just gonna make some clouds i'm gonna do so them Brittany blondell says jamie use some of that light pearl pink on the bottom of the sky oh okay i will do that i'm gonna add some clouds first so i'm just taking my you guys watching this upside down let's see 
I'm using the phone so I can see what I'm doing here. I'm just adding in some clouds. And it's nice to use the vintage linen because it's not a bright white. So it gives you some depth. I'm just pouncing them in there. And I've got room for pink right there. So I'll, I'll come and put a little bit of pink in there. I think we need some yellow. Like, isn't there yellow in the sky? Where'd that cake batter go? You're gonna, right. you're gonna get more atmosphere with like pinks and things, I think. All right, we're gonna put a little yellow. Oh, a lot of yellow. A lot of yellow. They've been closed for two days, so. We're opening them right up. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do a sun. So some of these are squirting. Yeah, they've got Pretty me. good when we, we squeeze them out. I'm just adding a sun in case anybody's wondering what I'm doing. Kind of a sunset-y look there. Okay, so we got our sun. And we're gonna add, they said pink. So what's this? Carnal, it's not pink. No. Nope. So I'm gonna use cowgirl coral. Yeah. I need a new plate. I'm definitely. Debbie, I'm sorry. I'm gonna owe you a pack of plates when I'm done. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Wait. Oh. And the nice thing about using the DIY paints for projects like this is because they have you can build texture with them because they're clay based. They're not like flat. All right. So I've got side of my barn is done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some white along some of those lines. Oh, I don't know about this pink. Well, you got it pretty heavy. All right, it's okay. It's a desert sunset. It's a desert sunset. It's no longer the ocean. Shh, don't worry, I got this. I, got, I need a new brush. I need white. I got some right here. Vintage linen is the white color we're using. Kind of leans a little gray. It's a cool white. Oh, I got some of your cowgirl coral That's on right. there. I need to bring my ocean up over my backdrop. I should have done my backdrop first. Hold on. There we go. We'll add some white foam to the top. All right. Got my white on there now kind of looking I don't know if you were looking at the side of a barn go with me on that right that's working right <laughs> uh, all right I'm gonna go Christmas tree I liked that idea all right I need like a squirt bottle they got one of those here I'm gonna go look. I need a red truck with a tree on the back Angel Turner a red truck on the tree with a tree in the back is very ambitious for this live video. <laughs> I don't know if she has a squirt. The girl's gotta have a squirt bottle. Um, uh, I'm looking around. Squirt bottle anywhere? I think I, I think this is. You found this, something? Well, I don't know. This. Uh, smell that. Does that smell like water to you? It doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, there's water. nothing in it. Well. That I know of. Debbie, I don't know if you're watching, but I'm gonna use it. Okay, so I've got my. <laughs> you guys see my. My waves, I've got my pink. Let me add a little, I think I need a little more pink ish coming through here. Trying to select the right brush to get my good pine tree, you know. Just gonna bring it up. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do a little squirt, get a few of those colors to run. I don't want my sun to run, but. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with some more. sandy oh. blonde that Jamie was using. Pat Jamie. What? Are you saying I'm a mess? A little bit. All right. It's okay. I think this is pretty well done. I mean, it's basically a, a beachy masterpiece. Do you guys like it? Use a fan brush, somebody says. Is that for me? I can't no, use a fan No, that's probably brush. for me. Can't use a fan brush. All right. All right. This is going to stay right here, maybe. Here, just put it there in front. It'll be fine. They can see some of it. They cannot see. <laughs> they cannot see it. <laughs> Okay, so I've got some of the sandy blonde here. I'm going to use it for the base of my tree. And I'm going to go over to the side with my tree a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Is this going to hold? Oh, you can also use first in, first out bottles to hold up your artwork while it drips down. We are going to be scrubbing this table when we're done. Yeah, we'll probably need to help her out with some yeah. cleaning. All right, so there's that's the center of my tree. Just use some sandy blonde. You may not even see it when I'm all done adding some green on here. Um, 
Oh, Does she like, yeah. have any simple sage, or uh, not simple sage, um... What do you need? It's not farm fresh. I'm getting all my brands Apothecary? Not apothecary, it's that... Oh, gypsy green? Gypsy green, thank you. Sorry, Debbie. We sell too many things. <laughs> you want fancy farm girl or gypsy green? Uh, I got fancy right here. Fancy farm girl. Let's do fancy farm we girl. We got fancy. I wanted like a sagey green. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make a drip. We're gonna do some Dion here. Do the Dion, make a drip. It makes everything better. Well, there's a few. All right. Ocean. All right. The sun is dripping over the ocean. I don't know if I have a fan brush option. I've got. We'll make. We'll let it drip that way. I've got a ton of brushes back here, but I'm trying to find one that'll work. You're excited to see my finished canvas. You see my finished canvas. This is it. <laughs> this is this is it. This is all I got. Jack Jack, come help my parents. Jack Jack's at home with the nanny. He told me, he said, Mom, you can't go. Families have to stay together. Is this dry? I think it's dry enough. You all right, when you're on. done, then I'll, sh I'll, I'll do this. I'm going to do my layout. Okay, so this is the brush I ended up with. It's the same as this one. Remember when we got started, I was like, maybe we should be outside. Yeah, we might have needed to go outside. I didn't know what you had planned. You I should, should always just now. be prepared. That's why we put the drop cloth always on the counter. Always be prepared for a mess. All right. All right, hold on. I'm So I'm using the IOD Indie Folk stamp. Are you going to talk? Okay, no. I'm done. No, I wasn't going to talk. I was like, how to... All right, I'm going to do a, a couple strokes so that I can see good. <laughs> it's intuitive. Just go with how you feel. How do you feel? I'm going to start at the bottom, I think. How do you feel, Zeb? I feel like that dried out in the fan already. Yeah, I, I be, yeah. Since I'm going to be stamping, let's not dry that out. All right. So I'm going to be. I'm what, I, what I'm doing right now is I'm just figuring out how I want to lay my stamps out, and then I'll I'll pick it up with the. Uh, so I'm doing two birds from the indie folk set because this is a love bird clock. It's a Jamie and a Zeb clock because I love you. Oh, I love yeah. you. It's nice. It's easy to love each other when we're not at home with all the children. I think I have paint on my shirt. Okay, so okay. I'm struggling with this brush a little bit, but it's not terrible, so we're gonna keep powering through. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. When I'm stamping, I like to set out what I'm gonna do first. So I've got the two lovebirds in the middle because the clock um, mechanism will go somewhere in here. And then we've got this little heart, it's coming down here, and then I'm gonna replicate. This is gonna get mirror imaged over there when I'm done. So this is the Indie Folk set. This set is really cool because it also has, oops, now it has white paint on it. Oh, paint down, paint down. Hold on, you guys did not see that. Well, pretend like she didn't wake up at four this morning and fly out Yeah, there. Zeb talked to me till one o'clock in the morning last night. I'm like, dude, I gotta sleep. So we didn't get any sleep last night. Anyway, so here's the Indie Folk set and it's got angel wings, which I am going to come up with something for Christmas with those and this darling little cherub. We know that some of you guys love yourself some cherubs. So, this is the Indie Folk set. Oh my gosh, there's so much paint everywhere. Okay. All right, I think this is as good as I'm gonna get with my Christmas tree. I might widen it out a little at the base, but I like a tall, skinny tree, you know? Okay, can I have the, that? I'm gonna mount oh. it on the, so when I stamp, I just mount it on the piece that comes with the stamp instead of Here, hang on, hang on. Let's, something. Let's clear you out some space. But maybe you should stamp. You're so much better no, than I am. You're stamping today. I shouldn't stamp when I'm running on so little sleep. All right, let's move all this stuff. All this paintbrushes. We need like a cup, a paintbrush cup. Are you I love it when you guys answer all the questions for me when I'm slacking at answering questions right. and miss them. Thank you. All right, here's all that. So I don't know. Can you give me a clean plate? Or I'll put them on this piece of plastic. There, there you go. go. I just, I need some space. I can't. I, I got stuff going on here. Okay, which is the top? Here's the top. It's got, this already has uh, latches on the back, so I need to make sure that I was using the. Okay, so we're going to, why do you have this? Oh, because you were using it in the black. Yeah, okay, that's going on there. <laughs> do you need another plate? There's yeah, I need a plate. I need, I'm going to be using little black dress for my stamping. Y'all know that I like to stamp with some DIY. Oh, I need a plate to offload. There's another plate under there. Oh, okay. Two plates. We have a paper plate situation happening here. All right, so I'm going to get the paint on there. 
I'm using a foam roller. I prefer the IOD brayers, but sometimes when you're crafting and you're not at home, you gotta use what you got. So, I've got the foam roller. I'm gonna go ahead and foam roller this. Just like that. I think I'm gonna make a hot mess. You gotta work pretty quickly once you foam roller it. Does that look even, Tim? Yeah, um, looks even to, to me. It. Okay, so once you put your stamp down, make sure, can you guys see this? Uh, Just be careful not to press off your stamp. Yeah, because got... I made a hot mess with it. Make sure that you guys don't move your stamp because then it gets blurry. You want a nice image. Okay, I'll show you guys this as soon as I get it done. It's looking good. You're doing great. I don't normally stamp on camera. It makes me nervous, but Zeb said I should. All right. Oh, it turned out good. Okay, let me show you guys. This is, we got one done. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to replicate this part on the other side of my clock over here. And this is going to be a clock without numbers because I'm not putting numbers on it. So, all right, Zeb, you can show them some more painting while I stamp the other side of this. So I got a, I got to vary some of these colors. So I'm going to get some black in with the green here okay. and see if I can get a little bit darker. Oh, that might be way too dark. Hang on. Too much paint. Or too much dark? Too, too much, too much black. Oh, okay. If our friend SK was watching this, I think she'd probably die. She'd be all right. She loves the creative process. Well, I definitely have a creative process. I like just going off the cuff. That's kind of my MO. Okay, I've got paint loaded up on this side. And I'm going to just do the mirror image right. The nice thing is that this clock has lines. Melissa, did you need something? Are you just watching us? Melissa works Spectre here. Lab. She's probably not going to want to go on camera, but if you come to Debbie's shop, you get to meet her. You want to say hi, Melissa? All right. Hi, everyone. This is how Melissa. Going? She is the, like, brains and the backbone of this operation running the shop here. Well, I try my best. Yeah, Debbie <laughs> I love her. paint. I love Debbie's paint. So it's really easy to work here and so sell everything. So you better. definitely need to come. It's like playing all day, right? Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. Everybody is so jealous. I'm like, well, you know, I have a little in here for yeah. friends. So come on down. Yeah, come see Melissa and come play and make a mess on Debbie's table. Well, don't make a big mess. She won't like it if I advertise making messes in her store. All right, they're loving your stamping. They love they love it. You guys like it. You yep. really do? Okay. Next, I've got to lay out my birds. So, I'm going to take what I do is I when I put them stamp side down. Can you guys I feel like this is in the way. We're going to move that. There you go. I'm putting it stamp side down so I can see how I want to lay it out first. And then I'm going to pick it up with this mount here. So, I'm going to carefully pick that up with a mount as not to get that black. Oops. Oh, I don't get it. Okay. I think you did good. Can you guys see what she's doing? Yeah, it's right there at the bottom. I'm of the just screen. picking up this these stamps. So now I've got them where I want them because I already laid them out on this. And you just lay them stamp side down with a sticky part upright. And then you can pick them up with this backer that actually comes with this. Every stamp set has one. It's nice because you're already got one. All right. So I'm going to come with, can I get some more black? Yep. And you can definitely use ink on these stamps. I just prefer paint because I like the look that it gives. I think it looks more crafty. Is crafty licious? I don't know. Is that a word? Crafty licious. All right, I got oh too much paint, too much ink. This is why I like my brayer. Do we have a no like on the birds? Yeah, oh, it's on like, the bird itself. Here, if use, you get too much paint, just on use the, the edge of the roller here that's dry. Okay, if you get too much paint on the stamp, then it gets rid of all the detail and work in it. So. You got to get the foot better too. Okay, I'm going to get the foot better. Okay, so I could not find the brush I was after. I'm going to do a little snow effect on my tree. It's coming along, you know, it's got some dark and variations and, you know, these, it is what it is. It is what, it's cute. You can frame it and stick it in our, our homemade Christmas decor. All right, our lovebirds are going on. Okay, I'm committed because I've set it down. Once you set it down, you're committed. All right, so I'm just going to go in here with this little craft popsicle stick and just brush a couple lines of snow on some of these branches. That's what I'm doing over here. All right, I'm just putting even pressure on my birds. Sally and Josie are probably going to critique this later. All right, love birds. Look at that. It's turning out so cute. This is going to be the cutest clock ever. All right, I'm going to come in 
with the heart next because what I love birds. And so I kind of, in case you didn't notice, there's no numbers, but the way I've positioned this is where the rose is, you've got your nine, your three, and then I'm gonna do the 12 and the six. Instead of doing numbers, I'm gonna put hearts at the 12 and the six. So that way, this is actually a little bit of a functioning clock here. Get this heart. Can you guys see my snow on my branches? Just a little, just a little dusting, you know, a little bit. A little dusting. Let's. I hope we don't come home to snow. We might. We'll be like, okay, well, we said we we're gonna move in two years to California, but we're now moving now because that's too much. I don't. Usually, it warms up for Halloween. We have like this oddly warm Halloween. Okay, so next, I'm gonna move this up here. I'm just gonna put my heart in the corner here. Oh, I got. I'm gonna use my DIY little black. I, you know, people ask me all the time, why do I only ever use little black dress? I probably should use black velvet every now and then. It's just not as dark. Little black dress is the darkest black that DIY has. Yeah. Jimmy really likes contrast between her lights and her darks yeah. with the black. I and like white. my DIY black and my mascara, both black black. Yeah. Comment below what if you're a girl and you wear mascara, do you like brown mascara? Hey, make sure you get the 12 and the 6 o'clock right. I will. Otherwise, do you like never... brown mascara or do you like black black? I always want the blackest they have. All right. All right. I've got Queen Bee on here. And we need some Christmas lights on this tree. Kind of brighten it up a little bit. So I'm just using the back end of this fat brush. All right. That turned out okay. Not the best. Not perfect. Oops. I got too much. Too much in the middle. Pull it off. And I'm just randomly putting on, they're getting smaller as the brush runs out of paint. The other thing that's cool is this paint is, oops, can be, if you make a mistake, you could just wash it off and then repaint it. It's not the end of the world. All right, Zeb, I'm a little worried that I'm not going to be able to get this straight. So can you look at that from your angle and tell me when my heart's correct? Or can you do this last heart? Yeah, let me get it for you. You got, you got stuff okay. on there? Everybody says very black and somebody else said black brown. I like the black black because I have long eyelashes and I feel like it makes them look fake. I mean, I guess people don't really want fake eyelashes, but I do, even though they're real. All right, bam, stamping is done. Little lovebird clock action. So once this is dry, I'm gonna distress the edges. So I'm gonna give that a minute. Let's check hey, out my painting. So answer me this question, guys. Are you uh, big lights and bulbs on the bottom? Chris, the, what are they called? Well, we, or do you, do you, on the bottom of the tree, or do you put them all over? So we like to, I do, when I decorate a tree, I do big bulbs on the bottom, and they get smaller as they go up on my tree. That's just my personal preference. All right, let's see. All right, you guys want to check out my artwork here? Ta-da! I feel like it needs something, but I don't know what. I'm going to close my eyes and see if I can do random and hope I hit the tree the whole time. You're going to do random, Zeb? It's like I don't even know you. All right, I feel like I'm gonna get some. I think I need to add some uh, other colors of lights in there. The yellow looks cool. My random is not great. It's still got some sort of pattern to it. You know, I even the colors out as I go, but it's gonna be what it is. Oh, I gotta paint the edges of that clock too. All right. I'm gonna put some cake batter on here, maybe. Hold on, it's got a booger. Oops. All right, booger worked out. Okay, I found some mermaid tail. That's working. I'm just lightening up my son here. The queen bee is like a little harsh. I'm mixing in cake batter on top of that queen bee. All right, I think that's better. A little lighter on the sun. What do you guys think? You like the lighter sun? All right, so. Do I need some birds, Zeb? Some birds. I need a skinny brush. All right, so I'm gonna get my skinny brush and I'm going to add some birds. That's cute. I feel like I need like a star. All right, we got a couple minutes here. Star on top or no? I feel like it needs something up on top. I feel like a star would be good. Can you do a star or will it like? Oh, someone wants to see your canvas again, please. All right, I will in just a second, I'm drawing birds. I can't, I have to actually be looking at the canvas to, to do it. All right, silver star. 
star on top, silver. You could do a gold. Oh, no, we don't. Uh, I don't know. Did you guys know that we have golden ticket back in stock on the website? Oh, wow. So Christmas, oh, what, you sound excited. <laughs> Christmas is coming, so if you've been holding off for some golden ticket. All right. I'm trying to figure out what brush to use on this star. I've got my birds. Do we even have? All right, so I'm gonna do a little. I'm going bird, in the other bird. room to check out my paint selection. I'll be right back. You're Debbie on your has, own. Debbie has all the paint. I have my own. You're on your own. I'm on my own. I'm, I don't, I, it looks like a dinosaur. I'm trying to do a bird in the sand, but it looks like a dinosaur. There we go. You can't just do one bird in the sand, you gotta have two. All right, there we go. Ta-da! I've got birds flying across. I used cake batter to lighten up that queen bee a little bit so it wasn't such a harsh sun. And then we've got two little birds walking across the sandy. I'm, I'm loving this. When it's dry, I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna leave it here for Debbie. All right, I need to paint. So when I did this, I did not paint the edges of the clock. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And I think I'm gonna be done. This is pretty fast. I think I could probably do like $400 in crafts in like three hours. This is pretty fun. And the nice thing is about a place like this is you don't have to buy all the supplies. You just come in and use Debbie's. All right, I need another plate. Debbie, I think she needs bigger plates. The plates are small. The plates are small, Debbie. The plates are small. And I'm a hot mess. Oh, I need a brush. I need a clean brush. My star got out of control. It's way too big for my tree. I, I, you know, go big or go home, Zeb. So go, the going big is good. I like it. All right. I hey, don't bump me. That's why my star got oh, big. <laughs> sorry. You didn't tell me not to touch you. I'm a toucher, poor Zeb. I told him, I'm like, well, at least we got to snuggle on the airplane. Not like you really have a choice because there's no room. All right. I'm just painting the edges in case y'all are wondering what I'm doing. I've got to paint it when I got started. It'll look weird. And then I'll come back through and distress the edges. And then can you ask her where her drill is? We'll, we'll put the clock. You want to put the clock parts in? Sure. Fin so we can finish it. And then when it's all dry, we'll go ahead and seal it with clear wax. And then on our canvases, we'll probably do like big top, which you won't, you won't get to see. But because the paint's real matte, we'll put a big top on it. And that will seal it up so that way they'll stay for a long time coming. I don't really have anything to talk about. Does anybody have any questions? Well, Lots of people are talking. Lots of people are talking. That's good. Because I've run out of things to say. Oh, Don. I'm sorry I missed your question. Don Newsom had a good idea with stars dangling instead of one on the top. Oh, my gosh. We want to do dangling stuff. We're going to do dangling um, ornaments across our windows this year, we've decided. We're going to make ornaments with embroidery wreaths. Okay. So I got the edge painted. Let's do a little bit of light distressing here. Because you know me, I can't not distress stuff. This one looks good. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna distress the edges of the floor. Oh, I'm it. Well, it's gonna get a little color on it because it's already had. Oh, look, I just painted myself. That's why I can't have nice things. Well, I'm just gonna go for it. Where did you go with the red? What? Where did you go with the red? I don't know, but there's red on my board now, so. Just, the cool thing is now, here's the thing the little black dress is really powdery, so. If I did not want that to powder, I would have needed a big top, but I'm okay with the colors mixing a little because it's going to give some texture and make it look a little like barnwood. I'll show you in a minute. Because the, the powders on the black and the white are mixing. I feel like I need more snow. Right. More snow. 
snow would make this better. I'm blowing instead of wiping so I don't smear it. All right. Ta-da! All right. How you, I, I've done two crafts and you're still doing the yes. one. It's because yours is more mine's, precise. Mine's more of a process. All right. All right, mine's, mine's a process. My <laughs> process is done. While you're doing your process, I'm going to ask Melissa if she has a drill so you can put my clock All right, go in. find a drill. I think, do we need a drill and do we need like screws, a screwdriver? I don't, just a hole is what I need. I just need to drill the hole. Oh, okay. I think. Melissa, you think Most kits, that's all you need. Okay, this is going from bad to worse. I'll show you. I had to put some more red on because I wiped some red off. It'll dry. My star is huge up on top. But I'm adding more snow. I'm hoping that balances a little better. I'm all about the balance. Watch out for that. It's not necessarily the best thing in art. But you know, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll frame this, we'll put it in the house, and I'll say one of the kids drew it. And then, you know, if it's something Jack did or Redrick, good to go. I mean, it's amazing, right? <laughs> uh, I better look at comments before I get in trouble. Oh, the star look, you guys think the star looks okay? I feel like it's big, but you know, Jamie likes big impact stuff. Like when we do our tree this year, there'll probably be some big pieces up on there that are, Bigger than I would have gone with, let's say that. All right, Don. You know, Don, I should have just had you come and do this because you seem like you're very good at doing these Christmas crafts. You've got all the good painting tips here for, for I'm gonna get some snow going right now. All right, before you get snow going, can you drill this for me? Now this, she couldn't find a different drill bit. Can you just do a few different holes with this? So Don said, Don said to get white on my brush and just like flick it to get some some snow splatter. All right, that's what I'm let's doing. Let's flick it. Do you need white? There's white on this brush. You want to shoot? Yeah, we got we got it on all the little. I'm not I'm not ready yet though. I'm gonna oh. get you your hole that okay, you need. Okay, you're gonna your drill the hole. Okay. Yeah. Here's this. It's still a little wet around the edges. Careful. Can I? I need that though. What do you need? This. And I'm definitely gonna need a bigger bigger she drill does, bit. She didn't have one, so we can just do a couple holes. Oh. Can you make it work? Or no? Yeah, we'll, we'll make that work. She couldn't find the bigger drill bit. Okay, do you want to try the splatter technique? Yeah, I can splatter. I... Okay, Jamie's oh, going to splatter. Gonna, that's actually smart to move that instead of move the people. All right, there you go. You work on that crap for a minute. I'm gonna it's going to get part. loud. I'm going to be drilling. You don't usually let me work on your stuff. Yeah, we'll see how it ends up. It may never happen again. This could be a one-time only thing. Especially where art stuff is concerned, I'm usually very controlling over how my art turns out. It's not splattering. You're gonna need a lot of paint on there. That brush isn't very thick. Uh, it's not stiff enough. It's too soft. Oh look, Zeb, she got you a bigger drill bit. Aha! Uh -huh. so right, I'm going like that so I don't get paint. Look how pretty that looks shiny. Too big. I need a stiff bristle brush. Can you give me a stiff bristle um, brush? Um. We're gonna need here, like a might... big sink when we're all done. Yeah, we're gonna wash all these brushes. Debbie's gonna have a hose outside. Oh, I think we that, use. That works. I think we use all the colors and mixed all the colors okay so like this oh yeah i'm getting some snow so the well i was just gonna go on the tree oh <laughs> well you didn't tell me that this is what i was talking i did say just on the tree i think oh, well. maybe i just thought it because that happens too i don't know did he say just on the tree comment if you heard it i don't know but the cool thing is is that it's working so the trick with making snow is you need a stiff bristle brush if your brush is too soft then you can't get the good snow action and i'm going to show you up close here in a bit when i'm done well i'll get snow you want snow on your tree you drill that i'll oh we're having like a snowstorm over here you know i'm all right with that that's looking okay it looks like the snow is actually falling right now like on the tree and because I blurred the lines with that huge brush on my big star, it looks like it's blowing in the snow. So whose suggestion was that, Dawn's? Look, we got snow! Oh, see, he did not specify. No, she says, like when he started, maybe he did. I don't know, but I wasn't here. I was getting the drill. What do you guys think? Do you like my snow? I think the tree needs a little bit more snow. Les says use a, a um, toothbrush, which I did that as a kid. Did you ever use a toothbrush? 
Can you put the clock kit in there while you're at it? Yes. I'm going to do more snow over here. Now no. look or what we've created a snow monster. Do you think that that's enough snow? I feel like that's enough. I mean, you right. it definitely gives the sense of so the snow falling. So this is Zeb's, falling. obviously, this is where Zeb is thinking. He's all about the Christmas crafts, and I'm like, please take me to the beach. With our little crap canvas artwork here. I and love winter. I, I run a little hot. I wear shorts until it's like below 20 outside. So, you know, the, the winter time is my you season. You do run a little hot. So, stop. <laughs> so you, temperature, you, my you temperature. Walked, you walked right into that one. <laughs> oh, buddy. I think tonight at our, at our class at Vintage Retail Therapy tonight, I think it's going to get interesting. There, see if anyone said anything fun. <laughs> um, opposites attract. They said, mix the paint with a little bit of water so it sends down and you get a variation of water paint splatter. Oh, drape lights on the barn. Like, oh. Okay, when you're done with that, we'll put lights and then I think we'll be done. Yeah. So, Jamie's phone's gonna die. We'll be out of comments here shortly. <laughs> My phone's gonna die. Oh, yeah. And then you guys can say whatever you want. No, just kidding. Don't talk. I'm not opening that one up. We just won't be able to read them once my phone dies. More snow. There's actually more snow than I think you guys can see on it. It's actually a lot of snow. Oh, it needs to say let it snow. I don't know that Zeb can freehand that. I could, but I don't know. All right. Hang on. So every time you see me looking over here at this brush selection, I just want you guys to feel what I'm going through here. They've got texture. They're awesome. They're awesome for blending and things, but not, not working out for the intricate work. I want to show you guys, this is what I did last night at like 1030 at night. I made this huge poster board. I put it on stories. My little boy, Redrick, has this championship game on Saturday. We'll be back for um, the championship game, but not in time to turn in my poster. So I had to get that poster. And I was like 1030, 11 o'clock at night, and I'm making a Lehigh poster. And that was all freehand. I'm not very good at it, but my little boy won't care. All right, do you know how to assemble that, sir? Yeah, we're running into some technical difficulties, though. What is the technical difficulty? The clock kit may need a recessed. I might be able to get it right well, here. Well, here's a clock kit on this one right here. How did she do this? That's a different clock. Oh, it's the same mechanism. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. I just needed to get a couple turns on oh. here and if i had a wrench or something that might work but i think this will work for our purposes here should we have painted the edges of our board all right you don't have to paint the edges okay so we're just putting the clock mechanism on the clock that we made using the diy paint and the iod stamps with the indie folk stamp set it's my lovebird clock design it's my first time you're so good at that so where are you going have you been thinking about your Christmas lights you're going to put on here? So I'm thinking, should we hang the, do you have a big So what I was going to do is just kind of use like the little dots like I did with the, and just kind of drape them across the, like right here, like two drapes and then do like a little black faded line that goes between them like a. I feel like you need something over here, but I don't know what you could put there to no, like. Just, just, just do it like right no, here. No, I'm right saying like something here. down on the bottom. All right. I'm not worried about it anymore. You're, you're moving on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm more focused on this clock now. I've taken over the clock project. I've taken over the clock project. So I'm going to have to wax that, but the clock mechanism is already on. Oh, I can take it out real quick and easy. It's okay. It's all right. Actually, honestly, unless somebody's going to be touching it a lot or throwing it outside, in 30 days that DIY paint cures nice and hard, and it's not going to go anywhere anyways. And it's on raw wood, too. All right, is it on? Ta-da! Lovebird clock finished. If Debbie likes it, she'll put it up in the shop. And if you come and you don't see it, then maybe she didn't like it. I don't know. All right, so let's do your little okay. thing of All right. Having these comments is like having 500 people tell you what to do. It's like sometimes <laughs> I boss you around, and then sometimes all these other people boss you around. That's right. I like getting and he good just does ideas his own from thing. people. Yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes I'll say yes and I'll just do whatever I was going to do anyway. Because you're good at that. That's All very, right. it's very common. 
You get a clear wax deck? But I don't know if she has a wax brush in here. Like, is this a wax brush? No, it's a paintbrush. I think we lost comments, guys, so. My phone died. Jamie, Jamie's phone died. I'll, I'll check the, I can read this to your phone. So we can, we can still see them as they pop up on the screen up there, but. This is, I found her wax brush. It's got wax on it. I just don't want to do something. Okay, yeah, we can still see them on the screen. Oh, we got a phone charger. All right, thank you. Melissa, you are Look. handy. You remind me of my niece, Caitlin. She's she is the Melissa to my Debbie. All right. Thank you, ma'am. We're almost done anyway. So I'm just going to use clear wax. What clear wax is going to do, it's going to seal it, but it's also going to brighten up that black. So just put that on here. Let's see. Can you guys see how it's darkening that? I'm going to wax it, and I'll show you guys. This must have had some dark wax on it before. We're getting some. Let me move my clock hands here so I can wax this side. I don't like that. Okay, now we're gonna wax this side, so I gotta move the clock hands over here. You may have to fix the clock hands more, guys. That's fine. Are they getting they they bend real easy. They're they're real thin tin. So this must have had some darker wax on it, but I kind of like it gives some depth to my clock face and not look so boring. All right. Now it's all waxed and it made that, that black a lot deeper and richened up my white. And we'll let that dry and buff it tomorrow or Debbie will buff it because we won't be here. Oh, that's cute. I went uh, I went a little dark, but you know when it dries, I could always distress that back. You went a little dark. With my my rope. No, I think it's good. I like it. And I'm going to put some snow on the top of the wire. Oh, it's snowing on his wire. All right, and then you got to show it to him, and then we got to go. All right. So just one last plug for DIY headquarters, Solana Beach on Cedros Avenue. Come down November 17th from 11 to 4 for their holiday open house where you can do the, their three new holiday make and takes. Also, you can come any day that they're open. So check out Debbie's page for the hours and such because it's really fun. You can do good stuff. If you have not been to our website, check out jamierayvintage.com. You can get all the paint colors that we used here, the paint pixie brushes, and the IOD stamps that I used. This is the Indie Folk stamp one. This video isn't live anymore. Zeb will drop a bunch of links for you below so that way you can get to Debbie's shop and get all this stuff. So Zeb is really artistic. He is. He's a lot more artistic than me. All right, show him. Show him. Get close so they First, can see First, I that. wanted to tell him thanks for hanging out while we had fun crafting here at the DIY headquarters. Because even when we're on workcations, we love to craft. It's what we do. Cute. That's definitely going. You know what? Can we take that one home? Sure. We'll we'll say Jack painted it. He's That's amazing it. already. He's a prodigy. Why would we say Jack painted it if we take <laughs> it home? Oh, because it's not good. It's great. That's so cute. We're doing our handmade holidays. We need that. Yeah. All right, guys. We love you. Um, if you're coming to our class tonight, we only have three people sign up. It's going to be way fun. So if you're on, we can't wait to see you guys tonight. And we're going to spend the next two days with the these sisters from IOD that create all the stamps and uh, craft products that we use. And we're going to be with Debbie. Zeb's going to be doing some behind the scenes filming um, of the IOD training. So well, if we learn new techniques, he's going to film them. And then next week we'll do like a big compilation video. So you guys can get in on it too. We love you. Be sure to hit the notifications. Give us thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye guys. Hold on, I don't know. Zeb usually does this. How do I end it? X. X.